Hi guys, you are watching channel Mr. Electron and today in this video, I am going to teach you how to convert a 12 volts car alternator to 36 volts. This one that you see is a 12 volts car alternator now without any transformer or any additional circuit or winding change. I am going to convert it to 36 volts and the best part is that it is going to produce 36 volts at the same rpm at which it used to produce 12 volts so let's get started now guys here you can see two car alternators one with the voltage regulator and three phase bridge rectifier and the other one without any voltage regulator or rectifier now the difference between the two is this one is going to produce a max of around 14.4 volts dc but this one can produce much more voltage depending upon the rpm higher the rpm more will be the output voltage so if you also want a lot more voltage than 14 volts then you will have to remove the bridge rectifier as well as the voltage regulator and make sure that you do not remove this brush case it holds the brush that feeds electric current to the rotor inside the alternator so in this video i'm going to work on this one because it does not has the rectifier or the voltage regulator so let's remove this one so guys after you have removed the rectifier and the voltage regulator you will be left with six wires and uh, two of which are going to be the brush wires feeding the rotor and that will be separate you can see that these are uh, the slip rings for the rotor winding of the alternator and they are usually going to be colored as shown here red and blue now there is a possibility that you might see only three wires instead of the four that depends if the three phase armature connection of the alternator is in star or delta if you have four wires then you will have to keep one wire which is the neutral point disconnected it is going to be the tapping point for all the wires because of which it is going to be very thick so it can be separated easily and uh, the remaining three thin wires when compared to the thick one are going to be your three phase final output wires now in case of delta connection you don't have to worry about uh, the thicker wire which is uh, which is the neutral point in case of the star connection because there is no neutral point in delta so these three wires are the three phase now comes the part of removing this back cover of the alternator seems like i will have to use the manual method so guys your question for today is what was the power rating of the motor i used in my previous video now after removing the screws you will need this minus type of screwdriver and then try and open Yeah, finally it is out you can see the brushes yeah that's the lower bearing looks smooth okay so these are the final output terminals coming out from the armature winding and we have to work upon these first you have to take out the insulation from the star connected neutral point after that you can see here that, the, uh, that all the wires are coming and joining at this point which means that this one is the neutral tapping point for the star connected armature winding so we will have to disconnect them all now for those of you who would like to watch the video in which i have removed the rectifier from the alternator and uh, the voltage regulator a link will be provided in the description so don't forget to check it out so first you have to remove the soldering of this tapping point yeah one is out so guys the disconnection part of all the wires has been completed now comes the part of finding out which wire belongs to which phase 
Now guys, I'm going to use three different colored wires for each of the phase and I'm going to make a pair for each phase. So this wire, this wire and this wire, these three were the initial output wires of the alternator. So I'm going to connect these three wires to these three terminals. Starting with this red wire. Now yellow. Yellow also done. Black also done. Yellow down. So guys, now comes the part of phase separation for which you are going to need a multimeter. So here I'm going to point it out to in this beeping mode, which is going to uh, indicate the connectivity. So first finding out the phase for the red wire. So let's leave out the yellow red connected over here. You see now out of these three one is going to be the wire at which this multimeter is going to beep let's see this one nothing nothing yeah this is the one you see so the starting wire for the first phase which is red and its end point is this this one so Another red wire will be soldered at this point and this will make one pair of phase. So these three denote this wire okay and the middle one is this one and uh, this piece that you see small this is this one. Now we have found out that the extreme left one which is the smaller one is a red. So denoting it by R. Now finding the connectivity for yellow and I think the high probability is for the middle one. Yeah, got it. Middle one is yellow. So it's Y. And the remaining last one is going to be black. So the phase separation is complete. All we have to do is solder the respective wires, red, yellow and black and that's it. So guys, now comes the phase rectification part. Here I'm going to use three bridge rectifiers, KBPC 3510, 3510 KBPC. So this is a metal piece on which I'm going to place all the rectifiers. I have not placed the paper tape, double sided tape over here because I am going to place a screw through this and then connect it to the alternator itself which is going to hold this entire piece in one place. So let's start with the connections of the rectifier to each other. This what you see is the plus one so the word, uh, diagonal opposite is going to be the minus which is negative so negative will be connected in series and directly to the plus of the other. And then again negative 
diagonal opposite as negative will be connected to the plus of the other and the final output will appear on this positive and this negative this way all the rectifiers are going to be in series So guys now comes the part of connecting the final output wires this terminal that you see is the positive so red wire will be connected over here and this one that you see since this one is positive so it's diagonal opposite this one is the negative so black wire will be connected over here and these two will be the final output from the alternator red positive black negative yeah now it's time to install the rectifier set Yeah, so the rectifier set has been placed and finally comes the part of connecting these armature wires to the rectifier. So first I'm going to start with red. This is the first one. Next comes yellow. And finally black. So let's solder the face connection. This terminal that you see, this one, red will be connected. Yeah, now the other one. Done. Now comes yellow. Other yellow. They are also done. Black Black also done. So all the wiring is complete. Final output is on these two wires and excitation is on these two. So let's start with the testing part. So guys, uh, this is the car alternator and I've connected the rectifier as you have already seen plus these two wires that you see the red and black jumper cables these will be connected to this 12 volts battery for the excitation of the rotor inside the alternator and uh, with that being done i have to rotate this uh, rotor or uh, the pulley of the alternator at a high rpm after which it is going to display the generated voltage here on uh, the multimeter display <laughs> Thank you. 
final red terminal to the battery and then you will see actual voltage at present it is producing around 9 volts dc let's increase the rpm So guys, as you saw that this car alternator actually produced 36 volts DC, which was pretty insane because a car alternator cannot produce more than 14.4 volts. And if you want more voltage and more output, this is how you can do it. So guys, I'm going to start with this 12 volts bulb. Let's test and see how this one performs. Bulb has been connected connecting the battery you can see guys the bulb has started glowing let's increase the speed pretty good right let's turn off the lights <laughs> Very bright. Super. Turning it off now. So guys, that was about converting this alternator from 12 to 36 volts. Let me know in the comment section if you understood this project completely and you liked it. So that was all about today's video. Thank you so much for watching it. Please hit like and if you are new to this channel, don't forget to share and subscribe. See you in the next one.